In January 2013, flooding in Indonesia forced at least 100,000 people in low-lying areas to leave their homes. Whenever a natural catastrophe occurs anywhere in the world, a flood, an earthquake, or a tsunami, it's a case for Stella Hubert. She works at the Center for Satellite-Based Crisis Information near Munich, collecting remote sensing data about events on the Earth. We are active around the world. We're quite application-oriented, so the user is our focus. But we also develop tools to make our own work easier here at the center. We want to improve our accuracy and our response time so as to pass on our information faster. This call for help comes from Jordan. Rescue workers on the ground there need information on a developing crisis. We got the data three hours ago and now we've started analyzing it. A refugee camp is threatened by flooding. Every minute counts. The aid workers need to know if they should evacuate the 60,000 Syrian refugees or let them stay. And we can send it out in two hours or so. Hubert's work involves creating detailed emergency maps for the callers. A remote sensing satellite provides the necessary data. The satellite images show how serious the threat is, which streets are still negotiable, and where the helpers won't be able to get through. Essential information for the rescuers. The analysis of the satellite data requires teamwork. When emergency strikes, each member of the group has a task. Hendrik Svensna is the rapid mapping coordinator. He calls up the data measured by the satellites. Eva Maria Bernhardt filters the data to get what is needed for making the maps. Robin Nietzsche creates detailed land maps from the satellite data. Stella Hubert coordinates the team and keeps contact to the people in charge in the disaster area. In our risk analysis, there are different parameters that play a role. For instance, there's the danger component. How great is the danger threatening the area? The second thing is vulnerability. Are there objects that will be affected? If we have an area where no one lives, with no buildings or infrastructure, then it's less catastrophic. That is not the case here. The map shows that the small town on the river faces complete submersion. A large part is already flooded. Hubert wishes she were in the crisis area to compare the satellite data with conditions on the ground. Sometimes she takes trips to improve the data interpretation. I'm in the West Africa project. I was there in February, March of last year for two weeks in Burkina Faso and Benin. It's definitely good to look at things on site. Otherwise, it can be hard to interpret the structures on a satellite image. Calls from around the world reach the center 24-7. In the future, Stella Hubert and her team don't want to be limited to helping after the fact. They're working on recognizing impending natural catastrophes and forecasting them as precisely as possible. The satellite images would help people threatened by forest fires or earthquakes to get to safety in time.